Hello friends, welcome back to We Student Blog. Uh, this is the VMware Horizon series, and uh, in this video, we'll be working on updating the Horizon Desktop Pool. So, <coughs> so, uh, so like uh, you want to update, a, uh, in a, for example, you already created a golden template and uh, golden image, and uh, after that. Uh, 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 there is a request to install uh, a notepad plus plus or chrome or any other application so without disturbing the existing uh, without touching the existing uh, golden image uh, yeah we you need to install uh, you need to install uh, new uh, new applications so in this video we'll be working on that so for that first of all we need to go to our vCenter So this is our uh, master image, and uh, if you see here, this is our golden template. So we'll also go to our uh, connection server. So here, if you see here, uh, this is our floating pool, and. Uh, this is the golden image name uh, image from where we took it current image is windows 10 and uh, snapshot is a uh, golden template 01 which we saw the snapshot over there and status is published so uh, let me give some overview so we are able to see three uh, three uh, options here like three status actually state published unpublishing and uh, unpublished failed so if it is uh, published and successful you will be able to see the status as published and uh, sometimes if it is uh, if it is publishing then uh, you will be seeing uh, status as publishing and if publish failed then it will be it will be listed as uh, published failed when we when we when we install uh, when we create a new snapshot uh, after installing uh, new applications and when you when you when you add it here it, it will be the status will be uh, publishing and it will take uh, 100 like some percentage of time so we need to wait till the publish is publishment is completed so now uh, we'll go to our vcenter and uh, let's turn on our vm so we are not going to touch the existing snapshot just we will turn on the vm So if you see here, we still not installed Chrome and Notepad++, plus plus, so I'm just installing now. So notepad is installed. So Chrome is also installed now. So 
so now we'll turn off the VM Okay, VM is off now. We need to take this new snapshot. So, golden image with Chrome and with Notepad plus plus. Okay, so I name like this. So, whatever you want, you can name it. Click OK. So, now we have to two snapshots one is uh, the base snapshot and one is with uh, chrome and notepad plus plus so we are good here so this part is done so next what is we'll do is like we'll go to our connection server floating pool and uh, here go to the maintain schedule so if you see here the two snapshots are listed here so we need to select the new one which is having notepad plus plus and uh, chrome click next and here a uh, like you can see the scheduling specify when you want this task to start so so it now it's 4 30 a.m. here so as per this uh, connection server so we want to do it immediately so we have a couple of options like wait for use to log off if uh, hundreds of people connected then if you do it like uh, uh, if you do it forcefully what happens is users will be disconnected in production we don't do that so what we can do is like uh, wait for users to log off and when users log off then uh, obviously it will be deployed <coughs> so second option is uh, force used to log off as we discussed users will be forced to log off when the system is ready to operate on virtual machines before being forcibly logged off okay so any errors it will be stopped so if you see here this property can't be changed if uh, stop provisioning an error is set up in the instant clone pool so log off time will be five minutes so message will be your desktop is scheduled for a main important update and uh, will shut down in five minutes if any 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 user is logged in this message will be popped up so we are good so click next and uh, these are the settings summary click finish so sh schedule like a push image is scheduled now and uh, if you see here status of the image it's showing as pending image and uh, if you click this one you'll be able to see the same settings like published publishing and publish fail so publishing is the status if the template is uh, uh, image is getting pushed so now the state is pending image so slowly once it is started it will be changes to uh, publishing you can see it here and we can see the percentage so we need to wait till it is completed and uh, even though it is completed it will take some time to get it published so we'll wait for some time and see till now till that time I will just pause the video and I will come back so it's on 65 percent so here you can see that current image is this one and the current snapshot is this one once this is published it should change the current state of the snapshot should change to the new uh, golden image uh, underscore C that is uh, Chrome and then NPP so once this is changed to current stage uh, state when you deploy the uh, when you when you provision a uh, VDI the new new image will be provisioned so still it's taking some time so we'll pass the video for now so uh, our new golden image is published now so if you see here uh, uh, in the previous uh, screen the current 
current image was uh, the same that is uh, windows 10 and uh, PC snapshot was uh, like it was uh, the old one uh, golden image but here if you see that image name is this one GMC NPP that is the latest one with uh, notepad and chrome so it is ready and if you, you are also able to see the status is published so when we log in we will be able to see the chrome as well as uh, notepad plus plus on our VDI so we will just try to log in now and see okay now we have just logged in and we are able to see chrome is installed and uh, notepad plus plus is also installed so our deployment our published whatever we published is successful so this is how we will be doing uh, uh, like provision or publish uh, our, our new template uh, when any new application is installed so uh, in our next video we will be looking at uh, folder D, uh, like a dynamic endpoint manager uh, so in this uh, we will in our last uh, video we like we discussed that uh, what all we will do and all stuff so let me show you one thing uh, oh, here only so let's go to our share folder user share folder so here uh, like uh, you remember like whenever a user login and uh, he saves uh, his data on desktop or his uh, documents folder when he logs off automatically the data will be deleted and when next time he logs in he didn't find that so we need to find a solution for that so that users should not lose the data so if you see here users uh, user one folder uh, we don't see uh, any other folders apart from archive backup and logs for logs data same with uh, VDI uh, admin so we need to find a solution for that so we'll be discussing about this folder redirect in our next video so that uh, we can we can redirect redirect the required folders to the user share path where data can be stored and whenever he logs back again his data will be available so that's all, that's what we'll discuss in our next video and we already discussed about uh, dry mapping and we are able to see that application blocking so if you want to block any application or installation in particular folder we need to uh, we, we need to configure this one so app volume so it will be coming in uh, uh, next video Sh even shortcuts we can configure shortcuts on our uh, on our desktop so uh, all these we'll be discussing in our next video so thanks for watching and please do subscribe my channel and for any suggestions and queries please reach out to me on bstudentblog at the gmail.com and please do like my videos thank you bye bye